Welcome back to Let's Play Near Automatic Teller, Mach Teller Machine. We got a big old castle behind us, and that's where we're going today. We're out here searching for the Forest King, seeing if there's anything at all we can learn about what's going on in this place. Also, I'm getting some frame stuttering, and I don't know why. So this entire castle runs sideways. Oh, jeez. Did not see... Did not see the red eyes on him. Wrong button. Okay, so while we're in here now, I'm going to real quick look at my two weapon sets. And I have Virtuous Contract, on one, and the Type 40 Lance as the backup on set two instead of the Virtuous Treaty that I have here. It's one of these. There we go. What do I do? What do I want? Laser? Laser's pretty good here. But I do that because in side-scrolling areas, Lance, since it does kind of directional damage in front of me. It'll probably be better for more enclosed areas. I got a small recovery. So this is sort of a... I, no, I don't want to say it's a maze. That went down like a weenie. I was expecting more out of him. So there's some places we can go, some places we can't. You can see right here we cannot go through that door. Doors are not always marked on the map. So there's a degree of just kind of looking around we've got to do. Watch out for hostile enemies, 2B. Roger that, 9 is a... Huh? Wait, what did you just say? Roger that, 9S. Wait, no, that's not what you said. You said nines, or at least something close to. Cut the chatter and engage the enemy. Ugh. I said nothing of the sort. You can't prove anything. So there's been some discussion. I shouldn't say discussion. There's been one or two people in the comments that have expressed a little bit of frustration about 2B's personality. And it's a little bit sad because for the most part we're not going to see in only Route A we're not going to see quite as much of where that's going to go as we otherwise would. Okay, so this guy is kind of a weenie. And I say that mostly because we see, like, the crux of her personality is that she's kind of cold and methodical and, there, and is there to get the job done. But we see little bits and pieces. And in A route, we see little bits and pieces of that there's... There, I got it. I got my stupid ore. We still see little bits and pieces of that there's more to this than that. Analysis. This part belongs to a machine life form. Hmm. Don't need this. Collect it anyway. You know we're gonna need it for some stupid side quest or something.
But we have noticed, we have seen a few things about Tubi's personality that haven't been just cold and methodical. So I don't like going too far into this room. I mean, I guess I can just kind of churn through it. Where am I going? Go back this way. Oh, I guess that's all I'm... I don't like going too far into this room because... I mean, this laser makes a difference, so holy crap. Because if you, uh, after a certain point into this room, enemies start spawning behind you. But yes, to, um, to 2B's personality, we've seen a little bit thus far. We saw in the intro when 9S had, did not recall his memories of everything that he and Tubi had gone through because he had to be restored to a previous state. Tubi was noticeably frustrated at that fact. Like, it bo- oh yeah, look at that go. Like, it bothered her, it bothered her. And here we see that she's not completely cold. Hi there. As though I didn't see you there. Like, she's not completely cold to 9S. That she's willing to entertain the idea of warming up to him. So the wonder then... Ah, oh, jeez. Wow, wow, wow. So the wonder then is what's going on here? Why is it that she feels the need to be hesitant, I guess? I'm not killing this guy in a million years. He's not worth the trouble. He's just a regular guy. Now here, though, you can, and this is where Ninus is kind of in the way. Ninus, can you... can I get you to... No, I gotta do the other thing, too. I gotta do the fling! I did it! I made it here. There we go! Actually get up here! Ooh, three more titanium alloys. I'll kill you yet. Give me a minute. Stuck behind those pots. If you attack this guy too early, when he jumps out, he's not entirely on your level yet, on your plane. And so you can kind of knock him back into the background. And then he just kind of chills back there for a little bit. Okay, so we see the chest up top. Give me that. Give me that. Nothing else, Andy? Nothing else going on? We go down. We can go down. Now, we don't want to go down all the way. Or do we? No, we don't want to go down all the way, because that takes us back down to where we started. I think in order to get there, though, you do need to, um, like, actually jump off a ledge instead of just going down a ladder. Get off the ladder, TV. But otherwise, we can do a little bit of running around and exploring. And hit a... 
Hit a window. Get. There, I made it. Holy crap. Like, you'd think this place would have been designed just a little better to not have you ram your head into everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way real quick because this is a dead end. I don't know if I like these guys. Hi! Piece of crap, and it's because I hit the wrong stupid button. Wait. That's all I wanted to do! Why didn't that work the first time? I didn't hit the wrong button, I just hit it and nothing happened. Y'all are a bunch of jerks. Like, I'm standing here and I go, okay, I hit the button, nothing happened. I guess I'll hit this button. Oh, hi up there. Maybe that's what happened. This is a really heavy block, so we gotta spend a really long time pushing it. But there's a hole in the ceiling here. You always gotta explore holes in the ceiling. Because you could get a chest with some gold ore in it. Okay, so it's actually kind of hard to get out of this room right now. There's some kind of fancy trick you could do to, like, jump really high with your weapon. Um, I forget exactly how or what's involved in it. So I gotta do it the old-fashioned way and get out this way. Holy crap, I also- you're jumping when I'm not hitting the jump button. Holy crap. You know what? I plugged my controller into a different port. And I plugged it into a port that I'm generally not happy plugging it into. So I'm honestly wondering at this point if it's, like, eating inputs from time to time. So that's, like, not the... We're just making up inputs sometimes. Wait, I think you can go forward in front of this. Yes, you can. Just come over here. Get that Moldavite. The all-important Moldavite. I don't know much about stones. It's Moldavite. It's a stone, right? Ite makes it sound like a stone. Hey, this place is new. Hey, I found a big door. Found a big door that I can't do anything with. That door is not something we can go in right now. It's actually for a quest just a little bit later. Okay, at this point, I think we're done exploring the ground floor. By ground floor, I don't actually mean ground floor. We're done exploring the down of which we went. Yeah, that's where we came in. I had to make sure. I had to make sure. We didn't... We came in on the ground floor. So now we have to go up in order to actually proceed. So where are we going? We're going... I'm gonna go left again, because there's a chest over here. If I could get in front of it. Nope, not 9S. Not 9S. Analysis. This part belongs to a machine life form. Hmm. Don't need this. You take that with you, because you know it's gonna be important for later. Friggin' walls! Oh my goodness, you'd think they would have made it so you can either not jam yourself into these tiny little nooks when you're trying to run 
or they would have made you work on a slightly harder rail. I don't even know if there's anything over there. I don't even care anymore. What that noise? I also should not be able to collide against 9S, but maybe that's just me. So is there anything else up top? Not that one. So for the most part, I do honestly think the gameplay in this game is super solid. But there are just a few little things here and there that could be... Yeah, I'm not messing with that guy. So we've got to, we've got to be nearing the end. Hey, I made it. Now this is actually an optional path. You come up here and you find a little chest. God dang it! Could have sworn there was something better. Could have sworn there was something better in here than that. You kind of have to be careful with that guy up top. Later, 9S. You do have to kind of be careful with that guy up top, because he will loop around the bottom some in there. I know if you go in pretty much as soon as possible, you're fine. But he can mess with some of your jumps. Shut up, 9S! Nine S, there. Let me grab the stupid block. So yeah, for the most part, I do think thing this, like the controls and the gameplay in this game, super solid, absolutely solid. But there are just a few tiny little things that I think could be tweaked. First of all, I want Nine S to get the crap away from me when I'm trying to grab onto rock, grab onto blocks. Okay, there, we made it. The Forest Blacksmith. Masamune. Trying. That's right, this is the guy that can upgrade our weapons to level four. I still don't really have the means of doing that. Sure, why not? I still don't really have the means of doing that because I'm short on some memory alloy, on some pristine cable, short on some machine arms. And a lot of these items... Oh. Oh, he's talking about the, the Virtuous. Virtuous contract, I believe. Well, I found one of them! Was like buffering my inputs or something. Ah, jeez. Hey, you're nice. Well, I'd say we have a map of this area, but we don't really. So I, I mentioned before that I did want to upgrade all of the weapons as far as possible. And I'm debating how reasonable that is. Um, mostly because 
I feel like I at least want to collect all of the weapons that I can collect in Raudai. You can't even get all of the weapons in Raudai. Um, but I feel like I want to at least collect all of them. I kind of want to upgrade all of them, but the end... As you get near the end of Route A, things get a little... complicated, let's say. Um, the game never really has a true... This is the best part to go farm everything moment. So, I'm at least going to try to collect all the weapons. I don't know if I'll upgrade all of them. But I think I'll be taking a break here. Until next time, everyone, we've found not only a save point, but the music has stopped as well. This is an important location. We've perhaps neared the king of the Forest Kingdom. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>